But first at six, a week from today, voters in Missouri will head to the polls and many will weigh in on how recreational marijuana will be taxed. And voters could see a question not once, but twice on their ballot. In fact, leaders in Jackson County and Cass County, along with all of these cities right here, they're hoping to cash in on sales by tacking on a 3% tax. If you see the question twice, remember one is for the city, the other is for the county. So this all comes as some dispensaries are reporting a shortage of marijuana products in Missouri, one that could end up driving up prices. Tonight, KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim talked to a local Kansas City dispensary as well as the mayor of Liberty, Missouri, to hear more about the impacts of this vote. Whatever the voter feels will be right behind the back of them. In just one week, some Missouri voters will be able to decide if they want an additional 3% sales tax increase on cannabis. In the fastest state to reach a billion dollars in sales. We talked to Fresh Karma dispensaries located in Kansas City about how they think passing this would impact consumer behavior. We think it'll be something to get over the understanding with consumers, but I think as long as the understanding is laid out and we understand where those tax dollars are going, that everyone will be happy to pay them. When Becker Recreational marijuana was approved last November. The amendment gave cities the option to ask their voters if they want to approve this. Liberty is one of the several cities in the metro that took action to put this item on next week's ballot. You know, like uh, alcohol or other things, 95, 99% of the people handle it well, but there's that one to 5% that need additional help from the police and paramedics, fire. So um, <clears throat> we've placed the tax with the commitment to our voters that the that the proceeds will be spent solely for public safety. If voters opt in on the additional 3%, buyers in Missouri will be paying close to 18% in sales tax on cannabis. We have two dispensaries and the estimate is it'll be about $150,000 per dispensary. So we believe it'll bring in about $300,000 a year. Heaves says even if the vote passes, Missouri's sale tax would still stay below average compared to other states where cannabis is legal. But regardless of the final vote and regardless of a recent weed shortage, Fresh Karma will do everything they can to keep their products cost effective.